Hello everyone, welcome back to the homestead. We are hoping to get a whole bunch of transplanting done in the gardens today. But before we get to that, I wanted to really quickly explain why we crumpled pages in last week's video. I had no idea that a few crumpled pages was gonna cause such a stir in the comments, but it did. So I feel like I need to say something about that. First of all, thank you for the comments. We truly are thankful for most of the comments that come to us. Um, even the negative ones because um, it's good to just be able to understand other people's perspective And I know most of the people who had negative comments about those crumpled pages Were actually just thinking of the giver of the gift and considering their feelings and seeing that so I appreciate that You guys are being thoughtful of that sort of thing and then uh, second we actually weren't gonna put the part of crumpling the pages in the video at all we actually only filmed the thank you and then I set the camera down and then the more I got to thinking about it the thought came to me that by not mentioning anything negative in the book what if somebody actually got the book kind of by our recommendation by sharing it and then without knowing what was in it was led away into some kind of evil religion of some sort i didn't want to be responsible for that so we decided to be honest about what we were doing and show what was in the book and bring that to light just so that anyone else wanting to purchase that book would know what was inside of it and we in no way wanted to uh, make the giver feel bad in any way actually the rest of the book is lovely and we are thankful for it and then the third thing is I just wanted to say that oftentimes evil comes hidden within something that looks wonderful, that looks beautiful and looks right and good. And so we all just need to be aware of that. Modern uh, videos, media, that sort of thing have really made light of what can be truly evil. So fairies, uh, woodland spirits, wizards, magic, all that has been made to look like this fun fairy tale and the truth is that oftentimes there is a very real spiritual demonic world that is attached to all of that and we just have to be really careful especially um, what we allow our children to put before their eyes and put into their minds and hearts so as i said in some of my responses to the comments our family stands for truth and righteousness based on the word of Yahweh, our creator. It's his way that we stand in and no other. And we will always reject the evil one and his ways. So if that means crumpling a few pages out of a book, then so be it. And last, I just want to encourage you who are in faith, who have faith in Messiah, to not be afraid to stand up for the truth to walk in the light as he is in the light. The closer we get to his return, the more unpopular that's going to be and the more hated we will be. We are told that in the scriptures. So instead of shying away, let's take courage, stand up for what's true, stand up for righteousness, and by so doing, give glory and honor to our loving Heavenly Father, our Creator, Yahweh, who will one day make all things right. So I hope that helps you guys understand better why we did that. We don't want to be responsible for anyone purchasing that book and being led astray in some way. So we wanted to bring it into the light as well as show our thankfulness because we truly are thankful to the one who gave us that book. Your thoughtfulness is a blessing to us. So thank you again for that book. Spittle's out here helping to transplant our beets. How's it coming? You like transplanting? Except for there's a bunch of ants in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so most of these are red ace, a new variety we're trying this year. And then we also have some bolt hardy and a few random varieties that were just old seed that we tested out. So this is a 12 by four bed. It's our first time planting in it. We don't quite have enough compost to completely fill the bed. So it's about two thirds of the way full and this side will be beets and over here we've got some fun new cages by Cedar Ridge made in the USA and that's going to be for tomatoes and originally I was thinking of under planting or kind of around the tomatoes planting more beets uh, but I didn't get enough beets started so I don't know if we're going to do that we may just plant some flowers or something around the tomatoes this year instead we'll see all right so we got all of them in we've got red ace golden beet, bull tardy, and I did have just a few Detroit dark reds to plug in over here in the tomato bed. There's only four. <laughs> 
so not very many, but that's okay. Next up is cabbages, so we're gonna try and get those in real quick before lunchtime. You wanna help plant some cabbages? Yeah, all right. So we have storage number four. This is a variety that I've never grown before, and it's a longer to mature variety, so we'll see how it does. Hopefully it can take our summer and be ready closer to fall when our temperatures start to go down and we can make sauerkraut, huh? Does that sound good? And then all the rest of our varieties are quick maturing, so we'll be eating those as they mature in the summertime. This is kind of fun. We have some little lettuces <laughs> that got dropped into the pots with the cabbage. So we're gonna have some little lettuces with our cabbages. That's a fun accident. Esther's out here helping with these, yay. <laughs> She's a fantastic gardener, huge help. Biddle's really learning too, the process, aren't you Biddle? And over here, guys are starting work on some more garden beds. This is a huge blessing to have all of this wood to make more garden beds. Woohoo! So they're just getting the cuts made before lunch and then hopefully after lunch you can put one together, huh? Yep. There we go. Got the cabbages in and we have a few extras that we're going to try and fit into the kitchen garden if we can. And we have extra so you get one too. Are you going to put one in your garden? So the solar eclipse has started. Josh is going to check it out and see how far along it is. Yep, it is about a quarter covered. Quarter covered. Well, we're going to take a lunch break. Maybe by then it'll be fully covered. We're right on the edge of totality, so we'll see. We'll see how dark it gets. Yep. Still exciting, huh? Signs in the sun, moon, and stars before Messiah returns. So it's just another sign we're getting closer to his return. Yep. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys already got started on that bed, I see. Yep. This is gonna be one of the tall, skinny beds. So two feet wide, this one's 12 foot long, and it's gonna be two feet high. This bed back here we planted with kohlrabi in the fall, and I've never had kohlrabi flower and go to seed, so I'm kind of, kind of excited to save kohlrabi seed for the first time. We had it covered all winter, so it made it through. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> it looks like a moon. <laughs> Lunch is served. Leftover lasagna. You ready to eat, Jay? Yeah. Oh, well, it's about halfway covered and it's still quite light out. Well, it's pretty dark inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> still got some light outside and it's pretty much as covered as it's going to get for us, huh, Caleb? Yeah. What do you think, Biddle? Pretty interesting, huh? Well, the solar eclipse is over. That was a really fun event. We had some friends come over to join us for that. And then my friend helped me get my broccoli, cauliflower, and kohlrabi plants in the ground. So that's exciting. Um, and next up, I'm gonna tackle this kale bed behind me. Um, this is our Vajiga grow bed. I'm gonna take out the old kale and plant some new baby kale plants and probably a little bit of lettuce in here as well. As you can see, it's gone to seed. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and harvest these leaves because they are actually still pretty tasty even though they've gone to seed. And I think I'm gonna save this little plant in here um, so that I can save seed from that one. The rest of them are gonna go and I have some new baby plants to put in there. All right, I pretty much cleared these plants. I have a nice big bowl of kale for tomorrow night's dinner and I did pull off a lot of the little tops that were starting to flower. They're very tasty similar to broccoli so those will mix in with all this lovely pile of kale. Probably steam them, strain and add a little bit of butter and salt. So delicious. So I left the one plant here that I'm going to allow to go to seed so I can save seed for next year and I cut all the rest of them down leaving the roots in the ground and there still is a bit of life on them, some, a few of the scruffier leaves and little teeny ones that I'm gonna feed to the geese. See how they like that. Hey, geesey geeseys. Got a little treat. 
kale plants planted so I'm gonna water those in then add some lettuce to the other side of the bed yeah the lettuce is planted there's like five different varieties here I think uh, red batavia outrageous revolution this is the last of our landis winter that will be harvested soon and not sure what this little guy is. It popped up in the winter time in one of our beds, self-seeded, so we'll see. <laughs> Got a little bit of up potting done in here, some zinnias, some dill, the first of our tomatoes. They're so tiny, but they grow fast. <laughs> well guys, I think I'm done transplanting today. I put a few more charred plants in the ground and that was just a lot of plants to get in the ground in one day. I actually do still have a few lettuce plants that I was hoping to get in the ground today as well, but I think those are gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna um, start thinking about dinner now. First, I'm gonna go out and see how the boys are doing on the grow beds though. And I think we're gonna call it a day in the garden. <laughs> These are looking great. It's like a garden bed factory out here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really building these fast. You got it down now, huh? Yep, a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good work, Nady. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining us on the homestead today. Thank you, as always, to our patrons who make these videos possible. We really appreciate you guys. Until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.